Hi writers and welcome in a new raw graffiti video. Oh. Well, this is a video that in Italian I would call tappabuchi, that literally in English means false filler. It sounds weird, okay, I know. I don't know if in English exists a proper word for this. Anyway, it's a video that I will use to fill a hole in the schedule of my channel because I didn't want to leave you without any weekly video, so here we are. Yesterday I was at a party and I know that normal people while having a party they are dancing and drinking and I don't know fucking but since I am Mr. Vent I was in my little corner wondering how fast can I paint with a bucket paint? And that's what I'm gonna find out right now. We just need some bucket paint, bucket paint. We just need some bucket paint. Today's video is a 10 minutes challenge. That's something that a lot of writers already did on YouTube. But I'm gonna do it with the bucket paint. The fill in of the piece with this reddish bucket paint and the pre-coat of the wall with this white, more or less, bucket paint. The outline can, it's gonna be a trash can. The background can, it's gonna be this. 94 can Europe blue not that cheap. Oh, and I am also gonna use a little piece of white for some highlights That's why I never paint over here, so I'll not write my name vent I'll write Pef. That's my crew name three letters instead of four. That's cool. The timer is here 10 minutes to go Let's go Hi, writers. I just want you to know that also Vent from the Future is here to keep you a little bit of company during this funny process. At least funny for you, because I was in a rush. It's really annoying watching me painting in third person, I mean sketching, because I always redo a lot of lines. Why? It's not necessary at all. Okay, anyway, uh, we are one minute in and I just finished the sketching, which is okay, even if with uh, those simple letters I could have done it uh, a bit faster, I have to say. I skipped this uh, part of the painting because it's really not necessary to see. It's boring, I think. Feeling time. Yeah, I was tired because it's really, really hard to paint like this in a rush, trust me. Yeah, I took a bath uh, with, uh, with the bucket paint because it is too liquid and it went all over my face. But the fact that's liquid, it helped me a lot uh, to go faster and faster. And now it's background time. I really fell in love with this color. This is Europe Blue from 94. Wow, really good job, 94 cans. MTN colors, okay. Stop, let's enjoy the painting. Bye. 
by the way I was convinced that I was using an, uh, an astrofet or a fet or something but this is definitely a normal standard cap and this didn't help me at all but whatever Well, totally unnecessary doodles done. Time checked. And now it's time for the outline. Using a trash can, a black trash can as you can see, and a level one from Montana cans. Also about the outline, I redo it a lot of times. Why the hell I do this? I don't know. Do the outline with your skin is not a, the best idea I've ever had. So perceptive the event from the past, I have to say. Look at this. Why? Why? It was okay. It was fucking okay. Uh, also here. Okay. Okay. And as you can see, most of the times I redo lines, I completely mess those lines up. Why? Hell no, doing this with a skinny, it wasn't the best idea at all, my friend. I checked the time to see if I had enough time to change the cap. And looking now at the time, we are 8 minutes in, I really took a big risk. By the way, the output of the can is still uh, really thin for an astrofet because uh, it is a trash can, but however, it helped me a lot. And right in this moment I took the most random decision of this painting. As you can see I did some outlines not completely and now I'm jointing all the outlines. I don't really know why. But by the way this effect that I'm doing right now, it's okay, it's cool. Dear Bent, we are almost there. Oh, 
you fixed it just in time. Oh, done. Done. Ah, I closed it. So, this is the piece after 10 minutes of rushing. Not that bad, I have to say, considering that I've done it with the brush. Of course, it's a lot messy, but it's okay. And uh, by the way, now I'll fix it a bit. So, this is the piece after 10 minutes. I have to say that's almost okay as it is, as it was, I mean, but I decided to fix it because the hole in the background at the top is really ugly and the curved lines that are coming out from the piece are not three on each side and this really triggered me out, so I decided to fix it. I added some elements, a bit of overline and I improved a little bit the curved black lines, but the piece is more or less the same. Yes, I cheated a bit, I know, I'm a little cheater. Anyway, about the letters, I like them, I would have preferred the piece with not complete outlines within the letters, but then from the past wasn't done with it, okay? About the letters themselves, there is just one thing that I don't like at all, I mean, the P is too much towards the right, it covers a little bit too much the E, just this. Yo guys, at the end I am uh, kinda happy about the final result, it's not something that uh, I am glad of, but after that I didn't paint uh, on the run for a while, it's acceptable, also with two buckets full of paint, so no chrome, no transversal and other stuff so it's okay as it is i am a red dish everywhere but anyway so i hope you enjoyed this raw video if you did leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel it would be a pleasure for me and see you next time